Inlandizi Primary School has 70 children with disabilities. Amari is one of them. He has a physical and intellectual impairment and is 15 years old. My son's disability started when he was eight months old. He got sick with pneumonia. He had a twin, but at six months the other passed away and only Amari survived. When he was younger, he couldn't sit down, couldn't stand up. He was just lying down, always lying down. When he gets sick, I'd always have money to take him to hospital. Parents can't let their disabled child go to school on their own. They usually ask someone to bring the pupils to school and to collect them afterwards. But if nobody is free, then that child will not attend class. Sometimes Amari's mum doesn't have the money to pay for his bus fare to school. On those days, she has to carry him on her shoulders. The school is eight kilometers away and they can't afford a wheelchair. It's so important for him to get an education like all the other children. When he saw his sister going to school, he told me, Mum, I also want to go and learn to read. I take him to school because I believe that with an education, he can have the chance of a future. The other children love him. They don't discriminate against him. And I'm really grateful for that. Millions of disabled children never go to school and are condemned to a future of poverty and exclusion. Right now, we're partnering with disability activists to ensure that every disabled child gets access to a quality education. This winter, you can help. Every one pound donated to our My Right to a Future appeal will be doubled by philanthropists, meaning we can help twice as many disabled children and their families access a future of independence, equality and opportunity. If the campaign for global disability equality inspires and moves you, you can get involved at ad.org.uk forward slash myright forward slash support.